Greetings out there in YouTube land. This is Morris Man, and as always, I thank you guys for coming to my channel. Today, I'm going to entitle this video Cancer. And the reason being is, I think that we all were really shocked and taken back with the death of David Bowie because most of us didn't realize he was sick. And we can all agree on this. He was a multimillionaire, and I'm sure that he could have and had use of the best medical attention possible. He wasn't just the average guy sitting in the clinic trying to get treated. And uh, I, I mentioned this before because uh, I'm just going to say this briefly. In 2006, I almost died twice. And it was as a result of negligence by the medical industry. I was given something that literally killed me. And what made it so ironic or sad was the treatment that they were treating me for didn't have that condition. You know, so they misdiagnosed me and then loaded me up with a bunch of toxic drugs and it literally almost killed me. So, uh, you know, these days I'm very attentive to detail when it comes to medical treatments and medical, you know, issues. And for most of us, we don't realize the process of trying to treat cancer because in the 60s, the number one killer was heart disease, high, uh, high blood pressure, then cancer. Now the number one killer is cancer. So it doesn't take a genes to figure this out. The protocol to treat cancer and even try to prevent it, it's not working. Because if it was working, cancer wouldn't be the number one killer in America now. It would probably be number four or number six, or even not even non-existent. You know, you have to wonder, all this money that people contribute and the government contribute towards cancer research, and we ain't done nothing. There hasn't been any progress. People are dying still at a larger rate than they did 20 years ago. So it's obvious it's not working. And what I realized, and let me just say this because by no means I'm a doctor or expert, uh, the, the, the treatment or the protocol to treat cancer is to load the body up with anti uh, radiation to kill off the cells. But it's like antibiotics. Whenever they give you antibiotics, it wipe out the bad stuff along with the good stuff. It doesn't differentiate or separate, unfortunately. Same thing with cancer. Uh, radiation destroys the cancer cells, but guess what? It also uh, uh, destroys the healthy cells, and that's why people get sick, lose, they lose weight, hair fall out, things of that nature. So that's been the protocol, and apparently the protocol hasn't been working. But here is something very interesting. The former, uh, former president, Jimmy Carter, announced last year he was in the late stages of cancer, and, and in so many words he said, I'm not going to be around too long. Uh, a few months later, or a few, uh, a few months ago, or yeah, about a few weeks ago, actually, he announced that he's cancer free. And I'm like, what was, wh what did they treat you? What was your protocol? And this is what they did for him. And this is what they should do for everybody because uh, it works. They gave him some things that boost his immune system and the body fought off the cancer itself. I repeat that. They gave him some things that boosted the immune system and the body was able to fight off cancer itself. His body is now cancer free. Jimmy Carter is about 90 years old. And in spite of his age and decline in health, that protocol worked for a man in his 90s. So just imagine a man in his 30s or 40s who's been stricken with cancer. That protocol would definitely work because his immune system, just because of his age, is stronger. You know, so if they can save a man that's almost 100 years old, uh, they can definitely save people that are in their 30s, 40s, and 50s. You know, uh, I've been a big advocate of a natural alternative ever since I had my issues, and I literally died. And I literally died as a result of the medication. And it's the same thing, you know, with everybody else. Uh, it's just sad that they would not take that approach for everybody because the body can hear its, cure itself if you give it the proper things to fight to cure itself. But cancer is a, probably a trillion dollar business and they're not trying to shut that down and keep you healthy and, and cure you because that's a dirty word in the medical industry. I was watching TV uh, the other day and unfortunately Glenn Fry of, of the Eagles passed away and they said he was dealing with uh, rheumatary arthritis. I'm like, that, that's not a condition that would kill you. So I'm listening real intensely because I'm like, tell me what happened, what made him pass away? And they said it in so many words, but they didn't come out and just say it, you know, outright. They basically said that uh, he was taking other medications to help treat the arthritis, which he developed colitis, I believe, and other digestive in, uh, issues that killed him. 
so in, 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 in uh, so many words, the medication killed him. It wasn't a root rheumatoid arthritis. It was the medication that triggered these other conditions that killed him. You know, unfortunately, in this country, we are pill happy. You know, uh, there are a lot of natural alternatives that you can uh, treat yourself with, but they, they squash it. Uh, the medical industry just shut it down when you start talking that, well, how about me taking something natural of the earth that will help my condition other than pills that's going to either damage my liver or cause other problems which are going to make me uh, get into this cycle of uh, if I take this medication for this disease, now I got to take something else because the, the, the side effects got to be treated with another a pill, then the side effects of that pill got to be treated with another. It's a domino effect. And it continues, and, and Glenn Fry's a perfect example. His initial issues was rheumatoid arthritis, but when he started taking the medication to try to curb that, the medication that he was taking triggered other issues that the so that other medications had to deal with and treat, and so on and so forth. You know, so it's just unfortunate in this country. Uh, if you're not really in tune to what you might need for your body. They're going to put you on that path for all these medications, and it's going to make it worse.